So what I'm just starting to do is I'm just crumbing my soil a little bit, so just breaking up some of those clods. Uh, and I just do that before I add the compost. And I, I leave it broken up a little bit, so again I get that knitting of the soil layers together. And then we add compost. There we go. And we crumb that in. I'm leaving a little division here because that's my vet, that's going to be my tomato patch over here. So I grew tomatoes here last year and as part of our vegetable gardening we always rotate our crops. So I had uh, my fruit or my tomatoes here last year so I'm going to grow my beans here this year which are a legume and I grew cabbage I think here and I'm going to grow tomatoes here for the summer and it's very important and uh, we were talking about pests and diseases one of the most important things in a veggie garden is just to rotate your crops, so um, that's what I'm doing. I get a couple of lines, just again with my spade, and probably three, uh, like so. And what we do with beans, they're a direct drill, so, and you plant them about uh, 20, 25 mil deep. Again, really easy seeds. Beautiful seeds. So, you can see all those lovely worms in there. Get a few little additions with my compost. Uh, but you actually direct sow these. So, well, you just press those in there. What happened to my little measuring stick, guys, that I had? Here it is. And so, about every 100 mil, you actually put your bean in. And I'm just going to place those out. You could probably estimate it, but uh, this is just as quick. Okay. So again, just push those into the ground. It's quite deep there, so that's good. Put the last of those seeds back. And then I'm going to cover that with compost. So we just go back to the... crumb that in. Now these, uh, unlike say our lettuce or our uh, rocket, bean seeds, and you can tell by the size of the seed, they really push through very strong. They, they push two really big leaves come out quite quickly. So they, they can push away larger clods much more easily than some of that finer seed. But okay. Now again, just give it a bit of a pat. Job's done. Again, just got to water it. Now, seven to ten days, hopefully. Again, it's all about keeping that moisture up and with a little bit of good spring rain. Hopefully, I don't have to do too much hand watering. Uh, but you just may need, the only time you would hand water, um, well, what, when it's important to hand water is in this establishment period. So. Uh, Okay, job's done. Beautiful.